What's up guys? Daryl here at the 2016 SEMA show. We're getting ready to load the Jeeps in and I wanted to kind of do a walk around of uh, Project Ascender for you. So let's let's do that. You know, first there is uh, Snowhawk, Project Snowhawk in the Las Vegas desert. So maybe a touch out of place, but here's what we're talking about today. This is Project Ascender 2.0. If you remember, uh, this Jeep was silver before. We did this build on this Jeep, the first build on it. I want to say it was about two years ago now. And then Pete built that gorgeous blue LJ Sully, and ours looked a little dated, so we had to uh, we had to keep up with the Joneses, as they say. So this is our our shot back over the bow for Pete. So this is Project Ascender. The first thing we did is we blew everything apart, all the armor, the axles, everything, we, and Pete painted it firecracker red for us. So it's definitely a friendly rivalry, <laughs> not an evil rivalry. So yeah, so Pete put this guy in and painted uh, the cage and the body and all the new armor firecracker red and it looks great and on the armor let's talk about it um so this is our production style armor for the lj and the tj but it's all aluminum so this is our first prototype for that so we tried it all out it's looking really really great and if this is something that you want give us a call we're tooled up we're ready to make this so we can build you guys aluminum highline flares and corners stretch and non-stretch for your tj so we're pretty excited to debut that this is the brand 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 new tj dagger bumper and what anthony did which is pretty crazy is we have a super stubby high clearance bumper on a tj with spots for 4x4 cube lights. These are the uh, rigid midnight edition dualies and they look great. They look really good with the truck light headlights because they just kind of have this black hue. Looks fantastic. So like I said, that's the brand new TJ Dagger. This is the pre-runner style. We also do it in a Stinger. Warren Xeon 10S. And this is Master Pole's brand new line. They have not even released it yet. So it's really, really, really cool. Brian did a video on that. We'll put up next week, I believe. But what's awesome is the line inside is pre-stretched and then it has this awesome coating on it. And Brian knows a lot more about that than I do right now. So when that video goes up, he will tell you about it. But that's, yeah, brand new, super secret winch line. Factor 55 winch symbol. We switched the red out for this sweet gray color to kind of match our color tones that we have going on right now so like i said we took out the factory tj uh dana 44 rubicon axles we had those in with our trusses just to see how they'd hold up and with 38s and just romping on them they were not bent so that says a lot for our trusses but now we're running terraflex full float 60s front and rear whoo gorgeous and that's terraflex steering which makes everything really simple to install redneck ram hydro assist uh, ARBs in this guy front and rear 538 gears this time for these big old tires and then RCVs we run RCVs and everything we love them nothing against Terraflex's axle shafts they work great but we wanted RCVs they're friends of ours so the Terraflex I mean we're super impressed with the quality of the Terraflex outers the axles everything I mean the way these things go together we were super jealous <laughs> and then switched out for the rock crawler coilovers and then Bartak sent us some of their four ply limit straps, which are great. We have this thing pretty low right now. It looks like we have about three inches up. We're gonna have to wheel it and see where we want it. Uh, you know, for now, three inches up is great. It's gonna, just doing some mall crawling. So no air bumps in this one yet. I don't think we really plan on skying it. So we'll, we'll forgo those for now. Adams drive shafts, 1350 front and rear. And we can see we stripped this thing all apart, cleaned the frame. Repainted everything. This is a rock crawler pro stretch long arm. We ran the same long arm, same arms, all that stuff. Just cleaned it up. Aluminum arms. Rock crawler coils in the rear, obviously. We had to plate the frame because this was a coil Jeep. Uh, so we had to remove our frame notch and then plate that up for strength. Running 40 inch Nitto trail grapplers and these really, really great trail ready bead locks with a black inner and kind of this smoke gray ring. It really shines outside. Lug nuts, spiky, spiky SEMA lug nuts. Gotta do something for SEMA, right? Max built trail tails. Got our partners here. It's our new dagger rear bumper. I love this bumper. Tub to tub, because we're not comp cut or anything like that. 
but so slim. I mean, the clearance on that is just fantastic. Brand, brand new prototype gas tank skid. That's a new product. Uh, it's not released yet, uh, but it will be real soon. Got some little scuffs on it. Got to be SEMA clean. And a 40 on our universal tire carrier, and it just barely, barely, barely fits. But it fits. So there it is, a 40 in the back of an LJ with maximum clearance. And the cool part about this tire mount backed all the way up against tailgate is you have a sweet little pocket right here to do whatever you want with. For gear, we have some Rotopax cans stuffed up there. High lift jack, steel cast, high lift jack. Oh, what else can we show you here? Got the bar tack seat covers. There's a lot of red. We had black reds in here for a long time and we switched to the black gray just because we had so much red. Max built center console. It's a really nice piece. This is the new painless trail rocker system. I'll show you that guy under the hood, but that's those are the switches for it. Gear shade, you've seen that before. We have kind of a retro style Mopar stripe on this. You just needed something to break up all that red. So up front, we have the Project Ascender fades away into the front. On the back, starting from the door handle, we have JCR Off-Road fading away into the rear. This Jeep is very simple, not super branded, because we wanted like something super hot roddy. It didn't look like a giant billboard for us or really anyone rolling down the road. Got our blacked out American flag Jeep stickers, and those are gonna come out pretty soon here. These are our Crusader sliders. Body match, body side, or color match, body side panels, and then black texture powder coat on the step itself. AEV hood. We had a cut factory hood before, but we wanted to step it up a little bit. So this is AEV's heat reduction hood. Really, really like this hood on this guy. Let's pop the hood here for you. Still got the rip. That's a rip supercharger on this guy. The air water intercooler. Uh, motor's pretty much stock besides that. Uh, it's got a full uh, custom Magnaflow exhaust. Factory headers. Oh, this is how our inner fenders really, our inner fenders with the high lines really, really clean up the engine bay. And then here is the brains of the new trail rocker system. Let me grab a Leatherman and pop this open for you. Well, I'm not going to pop that open for you. It's pretty tight, but that's the new trail rocker system. Um, it's a full-size relay box. Um, so what that means is that it's kind of like a PDC, a power distribution center, but inside this box are some full-size Bosch relays, which is kind of a really great way to do it. Super excited about that. This is brand new from Painless. I think we're the first one in the country with this guy, so I'm stoked about that. Running an Odyssey battery. That battery's been in there forever. It's worked awesome. Never, never let us down. Aluminum. Radiator, pretty, pretty simple. Make sure I latch these guys. But yeah, that's it. Let's uh, let's pop around the back and make sure I didn't forget anybody. Blacked out rip badges. We spent a long time in the shop trying to figure out what kind of glosses we were going to use on this. So we have like a semi-gloss frame. We have a satin painted you know, inners and everything. So we really, we really, really, really wanted to make sure that we, we, we thought about that for this build. I think this is really the first time where we've been so super, super, super picky about colors and the way things look. People, people will ask us why we have the powder coated light bar brackets. Those are our light bar brackets. That's just because, you know what? We got to break, break up all that red. If those guys are red, it's just, it's just too much. And we wanted to think about that with this build. Look at these Terraflex lockouts. So beefy. Such, such cool parts. There you go. Oh, oh, I know what I forgot. I forgot the Azzy's gauge cluster. So we talked with Azzy and he asked us what we wanted. And I said, hey, you know, this is a pretty premium Jeep. Let's do a Ferrari theme. And then he was like, I don't want to get sued by Ferrari. And I said, all right. Do the handy Rari. So there you go. There is the love child of the Ferrari and the infamous prancing horse. And then I said, hey, you know what we need, Ryan? Um, let's turn the dials down at zero. And he said, I think I can do that. 
I think he regretted it after he did it, but man, it's so cool. And if you know what you're looking at, you know this looks nothing like a factory TJ gauge cluster. He did a great job. HVAC controls there too. All of our switches there on that painless trail rocker. So yeah, that's it guys. I gotta load this thing up and uh, I guess I don't have to load it up. I have to drive it across the street in the convention center. A couple minutes here, but I wanted to do a walk around for you of Project Ascender 2.0. We had some late nights on this thing. I mean, the whole team just came together. And I, I do have to say, I, I think this is the nicest Jeep we've ever built. So that the bar has been raised <laughs> pretty high for us. So I'm gonna, we'll see what the next one looks like. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great day.